So now you have brute force installed from the last video, I'm assuming, or somewhere else. So, you know, you've got brute force installed, but it's you, you haven't worked out this save game re-signing business, right? If not, just look at my last video. I'll put a link in the description. Anyhow, it will show you how to install brute force. So this video is assuming that's all done and you've got it all installed, okay? So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm downloading a save game. Skyrim because Skyrim was the example I, I've already made a profile it, it just and besides I, I love my Skyrim so uh, where were these all Skyrim let's just hope they are main story and quest complete I'm not really concerned what's on the save game I'm more concerned that they are actually yeah no these are definitely PS3 Skyrim saves right oh, downloading very slowly by the look at that I should already be finished nearly it's only about the same size as a normal starter save Anyhow, that should be done apparently. So we go. Oh, oh, what did I just click on? Oh, something I don't normally ever click on. Oh, how do I get out of that? Like so, I guess. Okay, so try that again. We'll go to downloads. New folder. Oh, there it is. So this is the save game we just download. I'm going to extract that. Alright, that's that. I'm just checking what it's plus. Yeah, okay, cool. That's that's the one I need. That's for the US version. But it's save player two. I'm gonna have to change that though. That'll be in the next video. So this is just a simple re-sign it so it works on your machine, right? Obviously the first thing you have to do is pull a save off of your machine, which I'll just wake my PS3 back up, put a USB in there. And choose a save game to any old save game should do pretty much. I don't know, well, you know, yeah, like I said, we were doing Skyrim, we're, we're, we're going to pick a Skyrim save. Just for the, for consistency's sake, right? So, we'll put triangle, copy, onto your USB. In the other video, it shows you how to set your USB up to do this. All you have to do is put a FAT32 format, and if you were just copying off your machine as the first thing you ever do, it will make those folders automatically. Okay, so now we've got a save game on there. What you would do, is you uh, stick it onto your hard drive, onto your computer, put your USB in your computer, and you would, you know, bring it over to your computer somewhere so you can make your profile, right? Which I already did in the setup video before. I was showing you uh, how to make a profile, which is part of the, what you're going to need to do to re-sign a save game. So what was I thinking? Oh, this PC. Because I'm looking for my documents, whereas I have most of my save games. So this is one we'll use to make the profile. I'm pretty sure I already set profile. Yep, yeah, I've already done it. That's my machine there. The way you do that is once you've got something loaded up and you can now access, it, access these buttons, go to set profile down at the bottom, configure profiles, and I'll do number two now. It'll be the same number because of that so because that file is the one I've already got open and it's also the one I'm going to use it, it'll take you to the one you last opened as you just saw this is the same folder I went into before and this is the one off the console I want to play the game on right my custom firmware this will work on a normal jail, uh, non jailbroken PS3 too uh, and it's Skyrim The game doesn't matter because all it's really after is your console ID 
and your police station network ID. That's all it really needs. And that sets the profile, right? Once the profile's set, find the save game you've just downloaded or whatever. You might have pulled it off your other machine or your friend's machine or whatever. And you want to use it on your console. So where did it, it's, it's still in downloads, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. So you grab this save here, right? And open. Open it click on it always click on it and highlight it blue first and see it's got a different account number and a different PlayStation network number that's what we need to change click on him decrypt it once that's decrypted click on it again and make sure first that you've got the profile you want equipped both of mine are the same account number and everything so they're all that's all good now we just go like this the other option is too, right? You can also go with Skyrim, not all games. Some games this will corrupt the save. Uh, most of them they work safely doing the way I'm going to do it. But if you do it that way or that way, it will automatically do what it needs to do and re-encrypt it. But I'm going to do it this way because this is the way that works for most PS3 saves. It will both work on Skyrim. And then once it's done that, now you can see it's changed to the same, same, uh, you know, numbers as the profile that I set. That's for my machine now. Now all I have to do is make sure you click on it again, highlight it blue, and then re-encrypt it. That's done. Stick that on your USB and play it. Anyhow, um, the USB. I've showed you the folder format in the other video and this video is already seven minutes long. Okay, so we'll, we'll do it, all right, we'll do it. Oh, oh, look at there, we go, there's my example already. Let's say you plug in the USB and this is your USB root that comes up. You want a folder inside it, PS, capital, the three, and save data capitals with no gaps. And in there is where you stick your save game, which in this case came from... Um, downloads but yeah we'll copy him across into the USB close those windows and then you can just pop your USB out stick it in your PlayStation and copy it back onto the PlayStation the same way you pulled it off ah uh, jeez mate I'm on a roll aren't I no puns intended alright so yeah and you would just do the reverse what you would do is you would go into here and you would go to the top is where your USB will pop up. Ignore that, that's an external hard drive loaded with like thousands of games. So you just click on that. And then you press triangle and copy it back to your machine. Um, I think this might be one that, yeah. So anyhow, these are all ones I just copied off my machine, so it's gonna wanna overwrite if I copy them back. With Skyrim, never overwrite delete the other one first or do what I'm going to do in the next few videos and show you how to change the number so it won't overwrite it'll have a clean slot uh, uh, direct you know directory location that will not conflict or overwrite any of the others with Skyrim if you ever go overwrite it will corrupt it, it won't work when you load the game up so that's that um, that's all done that is how to resign. That's two methods. Every now and then, I can't remember the other one. If I ever come across it again, on the rare occasion where you get screwed around, I will show you that example as well. But 10 minutes, uh, I think we're done here. It's That's how you resign your save games once you've got Brute Force installed, which will be down in the description.